Hi guys, welcome to your bi-weeklies and just give me a minute to a minute and a half for just a quick intro. First of all, I want to thank you Feedspot for basically giving Cat Terra such a great honor. Being in top 50 on the entire basically uh, YouTube is like absolutely stunning. It is amazing and thank you thank you thank you so i really appreciate it however i actually should thank more to all of you my users because without you this just wouldn't happen so it really kind of like makes me feel great and i again want to thank you for i actually want to uh, invite you to join my facebook pages if you haven't already uh, i actually am considering to post some different readings on that platform as you know otherwise people say it's not good to put all eggs in one basket so it's going to be a free reading contest for all of you who join and also for all of you who already joined who are actually sharing the content so there is some kind of incentive i just want to spend a few more words just to let you know that you know how this really works this is only me and i am doing all this video so if you just do the count they're like 36 videos so multiply this by four and the time that is being spent on these videos and you will see how much time I actually donate to you every month. If you calculate, it's going to be about 60 hours. So I am not asking for any accolades or anything. I'm just telling you this is like the time that is basically taken away from my family, from my friends and mostly from me. And I also need some time off for myself as I'm just a human, just as everybody else. And I'm leaving the best for the end, right? So again, for all of your supporters, for all of you who are my clients, for all of you who are sending me private emails and of encouragement, of warm wishes, I cannot tell you how appreciated that is. That actually means a lot to me. And each comment left on a website is also very meaningful. In spite of all these hours, I still every day spend time reading it and each time I bookmark with my cat, like if after reading the comment. So thank you very much. And without further ado, let's jump right into your bye week, please. Hi Aries, welcome to your bi-weeklies. So let's just jump in. I just finished shuffling. Well, wow, we have Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. Woo, the Harpon. Wow. Tons of majors here. So let's get to it. But let's start with Nine of Pentacles. This is ultimately kind of like firming yourself up, trying to find how solidly you can stand on the ground. It is reversed, so it means maybe... Um, Maybe somebody doesn't want to be single. Maybe somebody doesn't know how to go about kind of like finding finding this like new path. So let's see. Seven of Pentacles. There is basically some kind of crossroad, guys. And this is a crossroad on a pentacle level, meaning it's like simply survival. Where do I go? Left or right? What options do I have if I go left? And what options do I have if I go right? You're going to spend lots of time thinking and resting this month. You maybe feel a bit exhausted. Like, Five of Swords is basically not a great card. It certainly talks about some kind of victory, but it's victory in the head of one person. Now, when it's reversed, it's kind of like realization, well, nobody won in this situation. You know, like when you think you're winning, and you kind of like claim you won and then you just realize, oh gosh, you know, <laughs> I just like won a chest against a two-year-old and I told everybody I won it and it's just like, I'm just realizing I'm kind of looking silly. So this is a kind of like a feeling where you're kind of like maybe rushed into declaring something, pushing something. But I want to see what is this. Look at this. This is soulmate. And this is soulmate is like in the past. Wow the third person this also could mean a third person where literally it was like fierce battle over something over somebody where absolutely every person got damaged in the process and i guess this this is making sense some choice will have to be made which one you however guys are feeling that you are really on the receiving end of hurt of rejection and remember rejection is god's protection if somebody was with some other person in addition to you, 
I really don't think that's the contract you want to make because it's at least in my head not natural to hurt person you love and it means that we have to be adults it means that we have to kind of like be accountable for our decisions and not to do that so it could be that you're the ones who did it sometimes things start very innocently and and like it's a snowball that turns into the avalanche you see this is like five of pentacles oh by the way for those of you who want to know the cards this is five of swords this is two of cups this is three of swords and this is like now five of pentacles reverse meaning okay it could have been really bad um, it, it's kind of like thinking through your head like where you're trying to distract your thoughts and try to focus yourself on action right because look at his thoughts 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 like your entire trajectory like when you wake up when you get on your feet this is like who you are here you're really thinking through it but on some level you're understanding okay sure you know there is no sense of crying it over it because we have to understand that love is forever it's universal it's just like asking another person to love you it's it's kind of like a concept that we majority like a majority of the people have to get over because that's kind of a selfish concept this is kind of like knowing that if you had in you that you can love that person that you can wish well for this person this is what counts and you're kind of like starting to understand that this is kind of like carrying you out or feeling shunned or feeling of not belonging or feeling like uh, I, I just like kind of like really felt bad in this situation well this is telling me these are your feelings but this is telling me that kind of like certain things feel very harsh still maybe you're not committing on something because eight of swords reversed I is definitely kind of talking about commitment but it's talking about something is maybe too weak or something is maybe too strong um you see like this is talking about adding a soft touch right when you're looking in the upright but be very careful especially because your area is not to lose control because that can also kind of like be triggered look it's not over yet for you like there is like world reversed or f or for somebody when the role comes reversed it's always talking about you know being stuck somewhere where it was nice somewhere where maybe the soulmate was a soulmate some really nice place but since the world kept turning and turning and things kept happening and one thing that is not happening is like you are not moving forward because everything else is moving forward just think of the ocean like the drop never stays in the same place and expecting it to stay there is kind of like very hard and it's going to take so much energy you see and and <laughs> if you if you do that yay surprise you're getting the tower reversed tower reversed is like you know when the destiny steps in and say like aries i i know that this is like what you want and i know that basically you can you can dwell on it all you want or you know that somebody can be keeping you on the hook for indefinite amount of time so when the tarot comes like in the upper situation we're talking about an unexpected event or you know something that changes everything and it actually really destroys everything that no longer works you know it kind of like it could be a breakthrough could be epiphany you know but it's simply always good it's creating a better reality in the end so when it's kind of like reverse this is telling me um feeling a little bit immobilized and this is just like a little like the world but this is like not as bad as it is upright so um these are hopes and fears so kind of like it's telling that you're still hoping that certain things will work out but you're you're fearing that they want and actually you're realizing they want so because when this card shows up it tells me that you actually already know the answer to this question and you don't want, you don't want to look at it because it, it, the world is telling me that maybe you're still getting the signals that certain things can work out and hence you guys are applying your all best skills six of swords is yay you look yeah I will miss this but at the same time I'm protecting the dear to me myself my inner self and I'm moving on I'm moving on bridge over troubled waters time to move on all right 
Aries, this is very simple. It's the last kind of like, like on the end of it, look at it, one, two, three, four swords. It's a thinking period. And, well, this is also Aries card, by the way. So you literally, I think you might lose control in the end. And, and once when you explode, it's going to be, oh my gosh, how did I even allow this to myself? How did I even get there? And this is like when you're moving on because the things are just not, make, not making sense anymore. So it's going to be really big kind of timing for you. Like you have uh, these three majors and like really, really important majors as well. And given that you have a soulmate and kind of like rejection that you're dealing with. So it is kind of like, I think, closure that you need to reach which i think you will one way or the other so let's check a few cards let's check this strength here first what is that going to be all about for aries strength for aries see it could be somebody you were really in a relationship with but divorcing and breaking up and there were lies and that's where you guys just like Aquarians you cannot stand this honesty you tell me I'll take it just tell me right I'll deal with this and that can make you explosive you know when people don't have respect for your time and for your space let's see this world the world messenger again right you're now getting a message the message has been given to you this is oh yeah is this a third person somewhere here or or are you kind of like living into wondering what is happening with this person or this can be a um this can be a daughter this can be a son there is like this also actually by the way can mean something from the past it's something that you're returning to something in the past that hasn't been dealt with uh, and 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 these two scenarios can be completely dislocated from each other I'll just get one more there you know what this is going to be a fortunate event after all something that is going to look sad and hard and that will take an enormous amount of energy from you will in the end actually end up okay so see this tower is going to actually be conversation <laughs> so after explosion it's going to be and this is by the way also explosion and it's going to end up with conversation that is going to end up okay i'm not continuing this journey so literally you know let's have a let's have a talk kind of a thing so let's see this moving on wow this moving on is literally taking you to the better place you are you will be so much better off moving on from where you are it is just like pretty good guys and um, it, it's not easy process i do get it because this person was definitely a soulmate and somebody kind of felt connected but it looks like you kind of like met on this karmic path and it was recognition most maybe a past life romance maybe kind of like this feeling of connectiveness I, I want to see what is this here and it's maybe time to move on if it was a karmic relationship right even though I don't see the other karma cards here but it kind of possibly uh, talks about individuals so this is why the crossroad is you walk into this kind of period of thinking okay I need to think through it I need to think through it is there a way to make this thing work because look you have four five six you see three four five six you guys moving on yeah something from the past is staying in the past somebody from the past left you in a call and this could be with a child yeah something hasn't been negotiated merchant could mean a man who kind of gets you pregnant right like merchant literally kind of like impregnants like it's it's like a entrepreneur equivalent kind of like always trying to turn things around but with a child it could mean somebody who 
kind of like just did something that kind of like was beneficial to them and hence this entire situation ended up in feeling either married or feeling stuck in a situation right and hence you know kind of feeling shunned maybe possibly because these guys are f walking away from the church and here it is okay finally you're getting it now things can be better and kind of understanding okay there are other ways our other avenues so this is like why the crossroads here is happening so guys uh, if you made it up to this point and you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate if you subscribe give your thumbs up and the most I would appreciate your comment and comments are always like something that I read so it's really appreciated so thanks everybody for watching and until the next time I love you